Well, um, this was something that I don't think anyone was expecting. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and, um, yeah, Disney's just pulling a Konami. They're done with, uh, console games, and now they're going to focus on mobile primarily. Uh, reportedly, they're working on primarily mobile games, uh, if working on games at all, you know, at this point. Um, oh, there's so much to talk about. Okay, I don't want to make this like a 20 minute video or anything, and... With my luck, when I say that, it becomes a 20 minute, or even a 20 minute plus video. A 20 plus minute video. Uh, but hopefully we can just, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's just get on with it. Um, let me, you're gonna hate me for this, but let me make the proper, um, wait one minute. Yes! Now, hold on. <laughs> Before, here's my reasoning as to why this is my reaction. Um, Disney Infinity is canceled. And, um, I, uh, uh, where do I begin? Let, okay, if you saw my tweets, um, a little while back, uh, when I first heard about this, you know, it was leading up to this video, so, uh, let's talk about the workers and the whole situation as to why Disney is canceling Disney Infinity and pulling out of the console game market altogether. Uh, believe it or not, they're not making enough money that they, that they need, I guess. Um, I, don't, I don't remember the exact statistics, and you can just look those up via articles and stuff. I'll probably try and post at least two articles down below in the description. Um, now, my main reasoning, before I get into that, like I was starting to say, my main reasoning as to my, like, yes reaction is because, well, I'm not even going to explain it. Uh, link both down below and in the end slate at the end of the video to my, um, why I don't fully support toy based games video because that oh I, I definitely included Disney Infinity in that video um, so watch that if you haven't already and you can get up to speed on what I think of just that entire genre of gaming in general and blah 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 so Disney is not making enough money in this department or I don't know if it's overall or just in this department so again I don't have the exact statistics uh, right now, but something about their financial stuff dropped like six or so percent or something along those lines. So they're like, uh, yeah, I, we don't see a future in doing this, you know, keeping this up much longer, so we are going to discontinue Disney Infinity. Now, it is confirmed that their last, um, sets of figures that they are going to release, since I guess that's what they were working on when all this was brought up, um, the last sets of figures that they're going to be releasing, it is confirmed, are those for Alice uh, through the Looking Glass, you know, based off the the film that's coming out, and uh, Finding Dory. So um, I'm surprised. I thought they already had Nemo stuff out from the whole Pixar line, but I guess not. Now that I think about it, I guess not. They had like Incredibles and Inside Out and all that. So um, Cars. Anyway, so um, Monsters Inc. as well. Yeah. So Disney Infinity is done at this point. Once these. Uh, sets, these last sets, I'm, gu I'm guessing these are the last, very last sets. Uh, once those come out, um, they're done. <laughs> now, at the same time, when I said the workers, let's let's talk about that now. Um, Avalanche was, uh, let's see, producing, developing, had something, had a major part in making these, uh, these games. Uh, well, since Disney and this whole division and Disney Infinity is done and shutting down and is done for, so is Avalanche. And that means 300 plus people are now out of a job. Um, my main beef with this entire situation and why I was saying yes is because of the series. The franchise of Disney Infinity is done and I'm glad for that. Why? Watch the video down below. Or if you want to wait for whatever reason to the end slate then there you go. Um, the fact that Avalanche is no more is actually like, oh, okay, um, I think I celebrated a little too early because, uh, it's not a good situation to be in. Now they have to go and find a job. Even Insomniac reached out to those guys on, on Twitter and they, you know, posted their hiring page on their website, a link to their hiring page. Um, it's, it's a big deal. Now it is a big deal because of the, of the job loss, you know. All of them have to now go into unemployment and all that. So, you know, it sucks. It really does suck that, you know, they were working on what you could arguably say was, you know, something that was entertaining for the children and all that and for, like, you know, a certain audience and, and what have you. They were working on games. 
and now they're gonna have to try and find somewhere else to go to work on games if that's what they want to keep doing. So, uh, which I would assume that is going to be the case. But wherever those guys end up, hopefully it's a it's a better place, quite honestly, because then they can work on some actual good games. Okay, um, let's now talk about this. Avalanche is what made the Tag series, and. Now, why am I bringing up TAC randomly? Well, it's not so random because if you happen to have uh, checked out G-Man Rocks' TAC podcast, I was supposed to be part of that podcast, but due to time constraints and just bad scheduling on, on our part, um, I wasn't able to be in that video. Uh, not only that, but he also did a TAC unboxing video, and he's been really about TAC as of late. And even he and I have been talking on Skype about TAC um, in general. And that's how he pitched the idea to have me join him on the podcast. So, I can only imagine what G-Man Rocks is going through right now because of you know, hearing that Avalanche is just done and seeing as he was trying to see how people would react on his own channel to TAC for him bringing up TAC and then the fact that he was like kind of hoping for it. And the same line of it's, it's not as strong right now as something like Crash, but like for having Crash come back, but with having TAC make a comeback, like it wasn't looking very likely. Maybe this is the whole reason why, because just they knew what situation they were in. Well, this goes far beyond, you know, them dumping TAC a long time ago. That just, it was a long time ago. It goes beyond what's happening right now, I guess. But, um, them being in a financial just hell, I guess, could be one of the reasons as to why they just haven't really decided to put the thought in to, like, bring back TAC or do something with, with whatever. I'm not really sure. But the fact that now, unless the rights somehow to the franchise go to someone else, uh, yeah, there is no hope in attack comeback at this point since Avalanche was, I guess, who, ha who last had TAC. And um, unless I'm wrong, which if I am, then uh, let's just put some more uh, text on the screen being like, okay, actually, such and such is whatever. I like correcting myself ahead of time. I hate having people correct me. But, um,. Yeah, I mean, with this whole situation, it's not the best situation for all those 300 people, you know, 300 plus people to be in, but hopefully they do find better jobs doing, you know, some really, really good kick-ass games, and not Disney Infinity <laughs> anymore. So, let's kind of now shift the focus on to that. Disney Infinity is no more, and this is Disney. <laughs> The biggest. The only reason why, I'm pretty sure, they did Disney Infinity specifically to um, be like, hey, Skylanders, you know, did that whole, you know, they're doing pretty good right now. Uh, we have some really, really memorable characters. You've watched our movies. You know our characters. Buy the toys <laughs> for this game. That's exactly what it feels like. So for Disney Infinity, the franchise, to be out of commission, I cannot be happier. Quite frankly, in my opinion, it was just, it seemed way too like, let's do what they're doing. Because money, fast money right there, easy money right there, not a whole lot of effort. Let's just make it a sandbox, you can do whatever the hell you want, but buy the figures, buy the sets, buy the collector's things, whatever. Buy the game. And, um, I don't know, it just, it, I never, ever cared about Disney Infinity at all. And... I've said it before, so if you want something of a little quick uh, Cliff Notes version of what I say in the Disney Infinity section of the Why Don't Support, Fully Support Toy Based Games video, they like to steal ideas. They're not so original. First off, again, they did this because Skylanders was doing it. Then, come 3.0, they were like, hey, here's a minigame called Squid War or Ink War, or whatever they called it, which is a deliberate rip off a of Splatoon. And it's like, wow. Wow, really? This is how low you're stooping? So that way, you can make more money so you can keep this series afloat? 